I'm <laughs> 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 terrible. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Doug. I'm Wit. And we're here with part two of the video talking about video switchers. Yay! So exciting, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is kind of the, you know, switchers are really the heart of live streaming, so and it's, it's kind of important to understand this stuff, but it's re they're really not that hard, so... No. no, last time we kind of just went over the basics of cutting between shots. Is this still hooked up? Yeah, it should be. <laughs> that one, this one, and that one. Yep. And you're not supposed to do it this way <laughs> in the professional world, yes, well, although a lot of people do that. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's these ones where you cut between... Uh, that's the preview, yeah. And the other one, do you remember what the other one's called? Preview and... No. Program. Program. Yeah. <laughs> program is the output. That's what that's what we all call the output of a switcher. We call it program. So and she's gonna be doing transitions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we're getting silly. <laughs> uh, okay, so we covered preview and program and transitions. But now we can kinda move on to some of the other stuff. And the 50 other buttons. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, though, these are duplicates. Right. So it's more or less the same thing, but for a second output. Uh, so, yeah, it looks intimidating, but it's really just more of the same that you're already familiar with. Mm -hmm. So uh, one thing we didn't cover last time was the T-bar. This right, right here. So when we were doing our transitions before, we were using the auto button. Mm -hmm. The T-bar actually lets you do it at whatever speed you want. Oh, it's not a touch screen. <laughs> You said you were going to do that. I know I was going to do that. I was for it. <laughs> so, so I didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, so you can grab it and slowly uh, make your transition oh. as as desired. So you know, if we go. I'll show one. Oh, wait, that's me. That's you. <laughs> yeah, so I can see it behind you. Yep. Okay, so uh, let's we'll actually do mix instead of DVE. So then it's then it's a crossfade between the two. So if I grab this and move it down. Oh, we've got the same shot on preview and program, so we're not going to see anything. So if we choose something else for preview or program. Okay, yeah, that'll work. So, yeah, okay. All right, so here we go. So I'll grab that and start, gra start dragging it down. And you can see it slowly dissolves. Mm. And so and you can just use that to control how far through the transition it You're actually is. You're a ghost. Is. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you can do crazy things like do it halfway and then you get two shots laid on top of one another. Ooh, <laughs> that's total uh, 90s, even 80s. Yeah, I can say 80s or even 70s. <laughs> you can have someone like f a floating head in right. the yeah. corner and then a serious like, yep. looking up picture. Exactly, yeah. So, so yeah, that's the T-bar. <laughs> and and uh, most of your actual real switcher consoles will have a T-bar on it, so... Because I'm using an X keys controller, I don't have one. If I need one, my other, my other <laughs> screen is a touch screen, so I can reach up in just a moment. <laughs> okay, I believe you. Uh, so down here in our sources, we have MP1, MP2. These are media players. And what that means is ways to play graphics or oh. yeah, those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So but they're they're very, very short. You're not talking like you're not gonna be playing like a five minute video out of here or anything like that. And typically, most common use for these is going to be like just a still graphic. So, like a lower third, somebody's name, that kind of thing. Lower so. thirds is usually at the bottom of the screen. Well, it is at the bottom of yeah. the screen. In the, in the lower <laughs> and then you'll third put, you know, screen. like when you watch a documentary, you'll see something come to the bottom of the screen and you'll see their name and maybe their, what they do. Mm -hmm. That's what a lower thirds is for. Yep. And the way you do one, well, you use the media players on the switcher in order to do that. So if we hit um, MP1, okay, so, so yeah, so we've got the graphic on preview. Now if we wanted to actually take it live, what would you hit? I don't know. It's on preview, so you use trans one of your transition buttons to make it go. Cut? Cut or auto, right? Okay, so there we go. There's the graphic. Okay. Yep. So whatever's in that box is whatever in the program box is what it was actually whatever is actually live, um, but okay. we probably want to have that over the top of the video, not right, in, not like on With a black, a black screen. screen. 
not yeah, attractive. Yeah, you don't <laughs> normally see that in the, uh, games. Yeah, so and we, the way we do that is what's called a keyer. Mm. Now, these switchers have upstream key, which is in this next transition section, and then we have a downstream key, which is over here, DSK. Uh, so the difference between those is basically whether they come on and off of screen with other transitions. So, like for example, if we were going to go to a shot of just you and put your name up as a lower third, mm -hmm. we would put you, your shot, on preview, and then use an upstream key to put the graphic on top of you, and then when we cut to your shot, both of the two would come on screen at the same time. Oh, okay. So that's where you use an upstream key, like you wanna, whenever you want to have both happen simultaneously. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then a downstream key is always on screen, no matter what you're doing with what? your transitions. Okay. So, so it just stays, whatever it stays, the video yeah. Yeah. is. Yeah, whatever you're doing, you're switching shots stay. or whatever, downstream keys always okay. stay on, on, on screen. Okay. So um, there's some other implementation differences in the Blackmagic switchers, but that's, it, uh, that's really the difference conceptually. Like okay. upstream keys, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> upstream keys um, <laughs> go on and off screen with, tra with a transition. So, um, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use an upstream key to put the graphic on screen, but we want to make sure that our video stays on screen and not go to full black, right? Yes. So the way we <laughs> do that is we, we use graphics that are at least partially transparent. So okay. the graph that we loaded here actually has transparency information built into it. But if you don't, you can use what's called a Luma key, and that will basically key out any, make anything that's black become transparent. Or you can use a chroma key, which does it based on color. So like a green, screen. green screen or blue yeah. screen or whatever. So yeah, so you can choose whichever one's appropriate for the situation you're working in. So And how did you upload the graphic? So on the Blackmagic switchers, it's from the media tab of the software. Okay. So you this is your file system on your computer, and you just navigate to the folder where you have them, and then down here it'll show you the files, and then you basically just grab one and then drop it in one of the available slots. So this switcher has 32. Different switchers have different numbers. Um, but yeah, just drag and drop into one of the slots. And that loads them so that they're ready, available, but that doesn't actually put them in the media players. So we have media player one, media player two. Mm -hmm. In order to actually take one of these graphics and put it in one of the media players, we have to basically grab it from this section of the screen and then drag it over to this section of the screen. So where it says media players. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So like for example, this cooking lower third graphic, pick that up, drag it, drop it over there, and now it, that's in media player one. Ooh, prawn spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds kind of gross, actually. It's actually spaghetti, sp spaghetti ini. <laughs> spaghetti <-ini. laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, these graphics actually do have the transparency information already built in, but if they didn't, you could basically say anything that's black, we want that to become transparent so that the video is allowed to show through. Because mm -hmm. you're building layers. Right. So, you know, our, our background layer is our cameras, mm -hmm. and then we want to put stuff, layer stuff on top in of that. In front of it, yeah. yeah. Transparent so. means clear. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so... Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to the switcher and then over here in upstream key we have our different types. Luma is that's the one basically anything black becomes transparent and then you've got your chroma and then it's got a couple other things so we'll actually have to go into more detail later because it, it merits it's a much a longer discussion. Okay. So, But we're going to use a Luma key here and we have what we call a fill source and a key source. So the fill is the graphic you want to see and then the key is basically the information on which portions of it are going to be transparent. Okay. So um, right now we've got camera one selected on fill. That's not going to be very handy. We don't want camera one to ever be transparent. So we're going to come we in. We don't? <laughs> Maybe you do. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want camera one to be clear? <laughs> what, is, what would that even do? Just make the screen black? Anything that's black would become transparent. So. Oh, so yeah. like this yeah. will all become transparent? Yeah, yeah. And then every, everything else we, you, you would see. So we can actually show it. Just like a green screen. Yeah, so I'm going to take key one, camera one. There <gasps> we go. Whoa. Yeah, so kind of trippy, right? That's way trippy. <laughs> Am I even on two? Can you see it? Can they see this? They can see, yeah, that's what we're seeing right there. Yep. 
Wow. So that yeah, the two layers on top of one another. So, yeah, you probably don't want to do that with cameras. It doesn't necessarily no. make a lot of sense, right? But for graphics, it actually can make a lot of sense. So instead of doing camera one for my fill source, that's basically whatever we're overlaying, we come down to media player one, where we loaded that cooking show graphic. Mm -hmm. And then it automatically loads the key. The key is basically the transparency information. It automatically loads those two in there. So now when I do the upstream key and take it on air, you get the graphic. Ta-da! You get the graphic okay. on, on top of the video, right? Mm -hmm. So the upstream key is what's allowing us to do that. Upstream so. key. Yep. Yeah. So again, I don't like that name. <laughs> it's not clear. <laughs> um, so uh, that said, I, I mentioned earlier it happens, it goes on and off with the transition. So if we mm -hmm. choose camera three here on the preview bus, yeah, there you go. So now if you do a cut, the graphic's going to disappear at the same time you do mm. the transition, right? And it, it's it's still on preview. Uh, yeah, but you can't see from that shot. But it's still on preview. So if you do another cut back again, the graphic will come back on. So yeah, there you go. So because mm. it's it's set to it's set to that camera angle. Well, it's it's set to the preview bus initially, and then whenever you do a transition, it goes to program. And just goes back and forth. It just keeps okay. going back and forth. So and you could shoot. If, I mean, if you were on camera two and then you transition to camera three, mm -hmm. and you could change to camera one for your next camera, and it would still either go on or off screen, no matter what camera you've got selected. So it's oh. not it's not tied to the camera. Okay. It's to part of the transition. Okay. Right? Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah. So if you were to hit the cut button right now, it would go off screen because it's tied mm. to the transition, right? So now at the same time, if we <laughs> take that same graphic. We'll go into the downstream keys and make sure player one is selected. And if I turn on downstream key one, there's the graphic. And now you can transition all you want and it stays on screen. Okay. So, so <laughs> yeah. So you follow? Yes. Yeah, so downstream key is unaffected whenever you do a camera transition. You can change cameras all you want and downstream keys stay on screen. Okay. Okay. All right, now let's get into a little more detail. So there's a few buttons here. Um, so we have, actually we can do this. There we go. So you can see the screen. So we have key one, key two uh, as part of the next transition. Then we have buttons for on air. So if I just press the on air button like this, it goes directly on air. You don't have to do the transition but you would probably actually want to do this key one button right here. So what this basically what that means is the next time I do the transition, I want the status of that shot or that overlay, that graphic to change. So if it's off, it becomes on. If it's on, it turns off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's, it's kind of weird, but so if, yeah, if you hit, hit the cut button right now, yeah, and it becomes, it goes on screen because we've got the key one button lit. All right. Okay. Now, now key one is still lit, which means it's going to change its status again next time you do the transition. So if you hit it again, off screen. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So now if I press that one again, now you do your transition. It doesn't come on screen because okay. it's not you're not changing the status, right? Mm -hmm. So that button alternates the status whether it's on or off. Okay. As part of the next transition. Got so it. again, confusing. You would think that on means always be on next time you do a transition, but it doesn't. So it's just no. Uh, why would it? Yeah, <laughs> that's too logical. <laughs> that makes too much sense. So okay. So that's 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 upstream key. Um, the other thing you can do here is if you want to do include the key but not the video behind it, you can turn on key one and then turn off background. And so, so now the background makes sense. Yeah, that's the background video behind it, right? Right. Yeah. So, so now if you behind it. Now, if you were to hit the cut, the cut button, the graphic would change, but the actual video source behind it wouldn't, because we told it we don't have the background button lit, so it's not changing the background. It's not taking the, pre oh, the it's preview. it's just changing. It's just the graphic. Yeah. The graphic. Exactly. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And if you do an auto instead of a cut, you'd see that it actually fades on and off. So, Ooh. so whatever transition you have have selected. So even if you were to go for like a wipe or that, that uh, whatever. Yeah. So you hit the button for auto. And yeah, it comes on and off with a wipe. So, Ugh. 
<laughs> it's terrible. Wipes are her favorite, I can tell. Oh, wait, we'll do sting. <gasps> oh, it took the whole thing. Yeah, that's actually the DVE, yeah. Yeah, so that's kind of the basics there. Uh, if when you don't want to load the graphics in, into the switcher itself, maybe you got a video, a longer video that you want to play, mm -hmm. you can use a computer as your source. I actually have another video on this channel covering upstream and downstream keys in great detail. Oh, so okay. if, if you really want to understand this... You uh, couldn't have shown me that before this. <laughs> well... So I don't look so dumb. <laughs> You're supposed to be learning. I'm right? learning. It's no, it's good because I understand. Yeah. Seeing it, yeah, I understand I mean, if it you had a lot it, more. If you had watched the video ahead of time, I wouldn't be able to teach you. That's true. <laughs> it would have been a lie. <laughs> this is real life, people. I really don't know what, how to do any of this. So it's good. So, I should also mention with the downstream keys, they do have a feature in there to allow you to basically include the downstream key as part of the transition. So in this case, if we were to do another cut, it would go on and off just like an upstream key. So it's the same thing? It's, it's still, it's a little different, but that's just kind of a, hey, I happen to have this graphic loaded in so the downstream the key. So the tie ties it to the transition. So as you're doing a transition, it either goes on or off. So it always oh. has to be with the cut. It has to be with the cut and auto, auto in order to make the graphics work. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So another, another I'm just used to doing it the wrong another the, another this, reason the easy way. Yeah. So it's another reason to use the preview, so that you can bring things on and off screen graphics Got like it. that. So, but that kind of covers the, the, what what you need to know in order to get started yeah. with the switcher. So. So the first part was just cutting, and then this part was adding graphics. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Using. I mean, the that's kind of like media basically. Players. That's the gist of it, yeah. I mean, the that's, basics that's gonna, that you would need to know. It's going to be ninety percent, ninety percent of what you need to do in order to to, to live. I'm ready. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to do a next show for us. <laughs> sure. <laughs> we'll have to do another video at some point on how to call a show, which is basically what the technical director says to the camera operators, because there is kind of an art to that. There is, yeah. So, um, and I mean, it, it varies. I've, I've heard it because I've been the camera operator, and right. they'll be in your ear on the comm. Right. But it would be cool. Like I almost actually was almost a technical director uh, up at Icon briefly, but then the guy who was sick ended up coming in. Yeah. So anyway, there it is. Um, uh, no, with no, regards go to out the there and be somebody. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite Dave Chappelle quote. Nice. Uh, with regard to the A10 <laughs> Mini, um, A10 Mini has a lot of this, this functionality, but it's a little bit reduced, so... Um, just open the software and look for which of these things is actually enabled because it, it is different on the on this switcher. So, mm. but anyway, right. yeah, there it is. So, yeah, if you guys have questions, leave those in the comment section down below or email wit. <laughs> no. <laughs> Please don't email me your questions. I probably won't know the answers either. So, but if you do have something you want to want to reach out to us and tell us about. Uh, Contact at streamteam.link is the email address. Yep. I'll put it somewhere. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so, yes. And then um, please also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And like the video and share it with somebody else. We very share much appreciate it. For that. someone who wants to learn. Yeah. There's a lot of, math, a lot of, a lot of people out there that want to learn this stuff at the moment. So, yeah. So, we're here to help. We're trying to get the word out. And so, yeah. So, that's it for now, and we'll see you next time. Yeah. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we'll be putting out a new video. Yep. Thanks for watching. All right. See ya.